All right, so we're going to go over my Robinhood account here, uh, the plans I have for it, and why I'm doing certain things, and my overall strategy, so you guys get a better understanding of my Robinhood account, uh, and how you guys can budget your Robinhood account. All right, so we all know I started off uh, only $226. It started off at $100. Uh, I did have a weekly current, so it went up to $226, 79 cents, and so that's the price as of right now. Uh, in case you want to total portfolio value is exactly what it says it is. It's your total portfolio value. Just show you how much uh, your stocks are worth. Broker's cash here. This is how much money that you have sitting inside of Robinhood that you have not spent. So money that you have taken out from your bank or some financial institution that you have sitting in your Robinhood account that is just sitting there. So you can transfer it back to your bank or you can spend it on stocks. It's just free flow money that you have sitting there. And so that's the difference between your total valve and the money you just have sitting there. And uh, one thing I like about Robinhood, the money I have sitting there, it pays you 0.30% on the money you have sitting there. And so you do get more money than you would in a savings account with your bank. And so over time, we're going to do this together. You're going to see how this goes up and uh, what it pays is just for having it sit there. And yeah, so that's why I have money sitting there and that's why it's going to grow up in the future. So my plan for the future is just have money sit there. And that's why for the interest. So we see how much we make over that throughout the course of our little uh, journey here. Uh, let's go down to our stocks here. All right. So this is called the pie right here. This just tell you what uh, what has what. Uh, you guys have seen my biggest one is Sunny. Uh, Could we just start at that? All these small ones that you guys see, these are left over from when I used to do it. I didn't sell them because they literally wasn't worth much. And uh, let's go over them here. So you have these are your stocks here. You have your name of your stocks, which would be these are the name of your stocks. Symbol, obviously, which is the symbols of how you will look them up. Uh, shares determine how many shares that you have. On Robinhood, you can buy in shares or you can buy in dollars. So you can buy in dollars. What I like to do it because I can put a uh, one dollar in there and you can get like this much of a stock at least get your foot in the door and you can invest at your pace you don't have to buy a stock outright like you don't you don't have to buy amazon for three thousand dollars you could just put a dollar in there and get, get it like that price this says how much the stock is worth amazon worth three thousand three hundred seventy seven and average cost is how much that you spent on that stock and so you can kind of see if you're making money if you're losing money total return here like I just said, total return here will tell you if you're going up and by how much, or if you're losing money and by how much. The equity is determined by, uh, it's just pretty much saying how much the total value is, if you want to sell how much money would you get right now, or how much that your possession is worth, or position is worth. This is just how much money that you have if you was to close out. So I'll sell this right now, I have $6. As you can see, uh, this I got this for free. It was $6.99. Uh, zero dollars. I got it for free. Robin gave it to me because uh, my friend joined with a referral code. So since he joined with a referral code, which would be in the description at the bottom, uh, he got a free stock and I get a free stock. Uh, and so it works. It works. It if I sell it, clear a position, six ninety. I would never lose money on here because I never pay money for it. Uh, the stocks that I'm working on right now at Texo. Uh, it's a cannabis stock, 83 cents, and so I'm trying to get 100 shares of that. The reason why I'm shooting to 100 shares per stock. Uh, that's my that's my minimum goal. If I want to get a stock, I have to be able to get 200 shares of it. And the reason I'm doing that is because at 100 shares, if a stock moves one penny, one penny times 100 is a dollar. So if I get a stock that moves one penny, I'll be making a dollar or losing a dollar. So I want it to be easy for me to track stuff like that. And so I may you, your goal does not have to be 100. You can have 10 shares today. You can want to do five shares. So whatever's in your budget. But for me, uh, I like to do simple math. So I'm not going to do 100 shares. And so that's what I decided to do. And so I'm working on Hexo right now, 38 shares. I'm working on MJ at two shares. Uh, I got two shares right now, and I'm working on the Lucid Group. And what I like about Lucid Group, uh, Lucid Group makes car batteries for the electric cars. So Tesla and whoever else has electric cars out there. I do think electric is going to be the future. And so I'm investing in Lucid Group right now since they're cheap. They also manufacture their own cars. So they also get their foot in the door and making luxury electric vehicles. And they're brand new. And so I'm going to hop on the train early. And so for me personally, I, I have big hopes for Lucid and that's why I'm investing in it. Only invest in things that you have big hopes for that you see succeeding. And that's uh, how you make it. If you don't get on a hype train, if you don't believe in something, don't invest in it. I'm only investing in Lucid because I like their idea.
My other one working on getting 100 shares of is Sunny. And the reason why I'm getting 100 shares of Sunny is because it paid dividends. Uh, I like that business model. And also, I'm a huge fan of Sunny. I've been playing Sunny since uh, I was a little kid in elementary school, playing Tiggin on the PlayStation 1, playing Crash Bandicoot on the PlayStation 1. And Sunny's been around my whole life. It's yeah, anywhere from the uh, you know the uh, Walkman and stuff like that. I always enjoy Sunny. I'm a huge fan of the games, and I'm a huge PlayStation fan. So naturally, since I love that company, I'm going to invest in it. And that's what I'm doing right here. I'm investing in something that I love. Uh, <clears throat> These other ones here are, uh, we'll probably phase these out as we go along together on our journey. We'll probably phase these out or keep them. But regardless, you guys will be a part of this. We'll be doing updates of this every week. Uh, do n This is margin investing. I'm always advised to stay away from margin investing. Uh, the reason why I have it disabled, and this is one of the main reasons why I started over. When I first started investing, I did margin investing, which basically matched the value of your account once you get 2000 or more. And I had about 60000 in Robinhood and with margin investing, so I had like 30000 and they matched with their 30000 so it was $6,000. Uh, I had a bunch of stocks. I had Shopify. I had like 10 shares. Shopify, 100 shares. So I had like a bunch of stuff on here. But what ended up in I had a, my, my, my portfolio been worth them a lot, but what happened is when uh, the pandemic hit and everything dropped down, uh, I got hit with the margin call where basically Robinhood forced me to sell a lot of my stocks because they didn't think that they were well because they they didn't Robinhood don't want to lose their money so they forced you to sell a lot of their stocks when things dip down they give you like three or four days and so they closed a lot of my positions which I was upset about because uh, today these positions are worth a lot and this was like a year after two these positions are worth like a, a, a lot of money and I lost a lot on that. And then uh, after I sold a lot of my stocks, I still had to pay back their margin, even that closed my positions. So it's like I paid that back twice, and I lost a bunch of money. I got out a lot less what I put in. And so I'm swinging over now, and I'm not doing margarine, so I'm going to avoid that mistake. And I'm going to caution you guys against that too. I would say stay away from margarine. It's not worth it, especially if you want to be in control of your stocks. Because if you do margarine, if you dip below where they want you to be at, they will force you to sell. Uh, you will lose your money, so still stay away from margin. Uh, this just says, in uh, how much cash I have? The cash that sits here for like, well, this is how much free cash I have right there. If you sell a stock, the cash is there, sit there between one and three days where you can enjoy it. Uh, obviously, billing day, uh, day trade, do not be a day trader. The reason why I have this off because I want to control the flow of money. If you like it, a hassle free, feel free to cut on a uh, dividend investment. Nothing wrong with that at all. Uh, Let's see if we can skip to the next thing here. All right, so banking here, as um, you can see, uh, I have the uh, I have on reoccurring things right here. So I'm gonna explain this to you. So make Robinhood easy for myself. Uh, every week, every week I'm putting into uh, Robinhood. I'm putting in a hundred, a hundred and fifty dollars every week. And when the reason I do that is so that uh. Every week I just track from 150 and I buy stocks with that. I'm going to go over with you guys in a second. But, uh, so if I do 150 a week, we're doing about, about four weeks. So I'm putting in, uh, let's see what this is, 150, four weeks, 600 every month for Robinhood. So that's what I'm paying on Robinhood. 600, six, so I'm investing $600. Uh, and I have one monthly thing of 100 and I do the same thing with finance, and I'm going to go over there with you guys in a second here. So, 150 every week for my stocks, 100 just for my cash balance. And the reason why I have that is because uh, these are my reoccurring uh, transactions here. Uh, I think something I already went through. I don't think they show my reoccurring transactions on here. Okay, let's try to see if we can uh, pull that up. Oh, right here. Okay, that's why. Recurring. All right, the reason why I have that, so we don't remember we're doing 600, okay? Uh, 600 every month, 150 a week. And so uh, these are my recurring transactions right here. So I have this $30, that this is a month. Uh, this is $30, this is also a month. So I have these two a month, so that's already 60 a month right there. Uh, and I got, this is every week, every week, every week, every week. And so I, well, basically I just added these up, right? Added these up. And then I came up, it was like 500 or something, but, and I, uh, I just did 600 a month to cover everything, 150 a week. And so all my weekly ones would be less than 150. And then I have my, uh, monthly ones. 
also I put cryptocurrency on investment also which is really cheap uh, kind of just dipping my foot into crypto so 10 5 10 10 that way I'm not missing out and I'm uh, slowly getting invested into these and that's the easy way I could think to expose yourself to stocks if you bad with budgeting so like that you don't have you can just put ten dollars ten dollars reoccurring uh, ten dollars reoccurring you do monthly that way you can be dipping yourself in at a nice easy pace and you can budget yourself and you're not just breaking the bank you don't even have to do fifty dollars thirty dollars a month you can do ten dollars a month you know just something to, to, to get your your uh your foot in the door and so yeah these are my reoccurring investments and the uh, uh how I'm budgeting that and the reason why I do have these taken out every month because Robinhood will bill from my broker's account, not my bank account. So I do have these taken out every month. It'll come from my broker's cash. It'll be just sitting there. And also, I have cash left over. That's why I have this extra 100 a month. So I have cash left over to be getting interest off of. So a year from now, we'll see where we're at, how much interest we're making, and we'll see how, how good we're doing on Robinhood. And so we will check this a year from now. So Robinhood is really easy to set up. Uh, so this is just my insight on Robinhood uh, about my stocks uh, how I have it set up and the certain picks I have and why do I have certain picks obviously this is the first week of our new uh, of us starting this and so not too much information on my picks but I will have more information shortly at the as we go on with this and this uh, I just wanted to give you guys insight how I set everything up and my ideas and why I've done it remember you have friends in the new monarchy.